Hello ladies and gentlemen welcome back to Champions League Fantasy Football and welcome to my video. In today's video I'm going to be looking at my team going into a round of 16 first leg. Now just to let you guys know that I don't have the right equipment to like edit my video so I need to do this in one take so hopefully I don't make a mistake. I apologize for that because I'm actually using a different PC and the UI it and the scaling and stuff like that it's just yeah it doesn't really look good so i apologize for that but we've got to move on right we've got to move on hopefully you guys can see my team perfectly well and yeah here we go now if you're new to the channel please do subscribe and drop a like on the video as it will help my channel out a lot so i'm going to be looking at my team going into um round of 16 first leg now i'm around 1514 that's a good rank and I've been looking and I've been thinking to myself okay how can I get into the top you know 1000 let's just say I added an extra four points roughly four points five points I'm just gonna go and click this guy so it's very very close okay so I could even um, be close to the top 500 so I'm thinking to myself like this is important to see I'm thinking to myself okay if I'm really close to um, to the rank that I, I really want to get do I really want to take a lot of risk so this is the question that you need to ask yourself for me um, you know round of 16 um, you know first leg and second leg there is a good chance to push there is a good chance for differentials to help out to pay off for you to get the rank that you want for me I'm, I'm for my rank I'm pretty much there look I would love to get a 1000 finish I would love to get like top 500 finish that will be fantastic um but i don't need to go all out and try my luck on so many differentials i just need to play the game right um and i just kind of maintain and hopefully you know with one or two differentials i'll be able to get the rank that i want um because there is a lot of risk for me to kind of like go all out try something a little bit different when you know there's players like salah Lewandowski, Sane is just continuing to perform really well. I can't miss out on these big players. I need to try squeezing every single player that I think that is going to do well and is important for me to maintain the rank. I know it's just not all about maintaining the rank. It's all about having fun as well. But it's something that I need to do. For you, it might be different, right? You might need to push a little bit more. You might need a couple of differentials. Now, comment down below if you have any big differentials that i might have missed all i'm going to do is go through my team on what the players that i bought in that may help your decisions out okay oh okay hopefully uh, i said that perfectly well because i'm recording this in one goal so hopefully i don't mess up and i should just stop saying hopefully and just continue so let's have a quick look at um the, the fixtures so as you can see tomorrow's fixtures uh, a sport in Lisbon, uh, not Lisbon, a sport in <clears throat> a sport in against Manchester City, uh, PSG versus Real Madrid. So this is actually quite important for us to kind of get the team lineup for Manchester City. I think this is um, where a lot of people are going to be looking at because as you all know Manchester City you know they always rotate and it's good to get a nailed on player start, well, you need you need a, a player that will start because in this fixture I think there is a good chance for them to do well in this game as for PSG and Real Madrid it's quite difficult you can still go for Messi who could do really well I don't know if Benzema is actually fit and ready I have to go and check I think I heard something about him I don't know if he played the last game I will check on that uh, and there's a lot of press conferences and stuff like that, so we'll know a lot more. Um, but the the main strategy here uh, for me is to wait for this Manchester City lineup. Then that's going to give me the options to pick a player that is starting. I really want to bring in Kevin De Bruyne and captain him, but I can't really, I can't really get like I need to downgrade someone. I don't really want to downgrade any other player unless I have to. So I'm looking to captain a Manchester City player here. If that doesn't work, I'm looking um, for another captain option on a Wednesday and so on. So in this fixtures here, Lemodowski or even Sane as a big differential that could work out really well. Or 
Liverpool players like Trent or, or Salah could be the players that we need to bring in. Um, for Chelsea, I do have uh, Chelsea players that could be an option. Um, and for Wednesday, I do have uh, Haller as my captain option. So I got captain cover for each day. I don't really want to get all the way down here to kind of like get get a return. I really want to get the return early. For me, when I'm looking at a return, if I if my captain gets six points and you double that up to twelve, I don't think that's enough. So I will be taking a risk. So if my player like Kevin De Bruyne, if I bring him in, he brings me six points, double up to twelve, I will I will switch. I will go for Lewandowski, and hopefully he will get more. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And the other thing that we need to look at is um, round of 16, second leg is important because if I'm bringing like um, Bayern Munich players as an example, they've got home fixture. So I might not need to make a lot of transfers. If I can bank the transfer and I'll have a decent amount of transfers for the next um, in a round, that's going to give me a good chance to kind of remove the players that is being kicked out from the tournament. Like for Manchester City, is always going to be uh, difficult to kind of predict who the team lineup is because they've got a lot of good players. Um, but I think if you get like players like Cancelo, Edison, if you want to go for the goalkeeper, Kevin De Bruyne, could be the ones they're going to go for. If I get bring in uh, Ajax West, Benfica, then it's a good fixture for them, and so on. So you got to look ahead as well. Um, but only focus on these two. Don't look at like who's going to go. Well, okay, look at who's going to go through. But you know, don't um, forget about the other teams that could get some results or could score and get you the points as well. So watch out for that as well. It's, it's a bit. It's a bit tricky. Uh, it could go all wrong, or you know, it could go all well uh, in the round of sixteen. So. This is how my team is looking like so far. I'm just going to quickly look at the dates. 23rd, 23rd, 22nd. Okay, so that's 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 fine for now. Um, you got to put all of the players that is playing in a later date uh, on the bench because you're going to be substituting them in and out. So for now, uh, Cancelo is my captain for the first game. Um, I could captain uh, Phil Foden. If I do bring in Kevin De Bruyne, I'll probably will captain him. I think Cancelo is such a good option because he can score, he can get big amount of returns and he can get some clean sheet points as well. So this is how the team is looking like. I'm just going to go through my striker. So i got Jota, which is 5%. Like I mentioned before, I do want a couple of big differentials. Jota is a big differential. I just need to see if he's fine for this game. Um, against Inter Milan. If he's not, then I'll downgrade, then I might go and get Kevin De Bruyne. I've got Salah as well, so I'm kind of backing Liverpool to do really well here. I'm also looking ahead, I'm looking at their fixtures um, when, it's, when it's a home fixture uh, for Liverpool in match day eight. The issue is, if I do bring Jota, is he going to play both of these games? That is the question that I need to ask myself. If if that's not the case, then you know I might need to remove him. Um, let me just have a quick look at this. Saying that though, um, Liverpool, you know their their fixture against Inter Milan is the first uh, games in match day eight, so I'll be able to get the team lineup. So I'll make that decision there. If Jota doesn't play, then I can remove him. So that's the kind of the plan there. Trent, because you know he's a player that can um, have you know can do really well. Um, so those are the Liverpool players. I've got Lewandowski, who is highly owned, is going to be captained by uh, most people. So that's what I'm saying. Like, if I could get Kevin De Bruyne in there, captain, if I could get a big amount of returns from him, then I just need to pray that Lewandowski doesn't do well. Then, I, you know, I'm kind of ahead of people. But Lewandowski is just an amazing player, just consistent. He's just that nine goals already. He's, he's just a goal scoring machine. You want points, you need to captain him. I've got Sane as well. Still low, oh, like 23% is still, but. In the top 1,000, it could be different. I need to look into that. And Kimmich is 16%. I think Kimmich is actually quite low owned in the top 1,000. So he might be the one to go for, for a big differential. And I've got two Manchester City players. I think Foden could be Kevin De Bruyne. I just need to find a, a replacement for Jota. Uh, I've got Jorginho. He's on penalties. Um, just a cheap player, really. 
uh, that could um, bring me the points. I, mean, I need a cheap midfielder, uh, to be honest with you guys. And I've got Rudiger here as a Chelsea uh, defence. Lanjama has worked out really well for me. Still low on 4%. And 6.8. I'm not really expecting, you know, um, them to go through and beat Juventus, but you just you just never know. So these are the things that I'm, I'm adding into my team. So we've got a couple of goalkeepers here. I'm not sure who I'm going to go with. These ain't the best goalkeeper options. I need to be looking at a better goalkeeper option. Um, so yeah, for me, I'm looking at like a really cheap 5 million or 4.5. I might even go with one goalkeeper. Um, and, just, and just stick with that because I don't think the goalkeepers do enough even the like cheap goalkeeper they don't really get decent amount of points um, so I might go without them but I'll have to see I'll have to see to kind of adjust things uh, I've got Hilaire as well uh, to kind of help out he's just yeah continue to score a lot of goals he's got uh, let's have a look 10 goals in this competition which is crazy and I've got a really cheap Atletico uh, Madrid uh, defender that is only one percent Mario there with 4.7 million price tag so that is really cheap not saying that he's going to keep a clean sheet we just never know against Manchester United and is a cheap enabler to be honest with you so that's it really so the team is looking good I'm, I'm happy with the team I, I would actually go with this team if there was no injuries now I've got 0 0.1 and, and a couple of people asked me like, how did you how did you get that team like you know, I couldn't. Some people said to me that they couldn't get the team that I got. I think it's because I had like Hale, uh, Danjama, you know, a couple of players that has been in my team for such a long time that they've got price rises and people bring them in. They have to pay extra, extra money to them. So that's why they can't pick them in. So that's why, you know, picking the right players and doing well with them is going to help you out in the long run. So let's just say, as an example, that I go ahead and bring in. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne up because I think he's going to start. I think he may he will do really well. These things hasn't been updated that well, I think. So we just need to make sure. And look, as you can see, 5.8 is quite difficult to get a striker that is 5.8 that I would really want. So that means I might have to downgrade a couple of players and I don't really want to. You know, I think I've got a very strong team. Um, but yeah, that's one of the options. So you let me know in the comments below what you think if you've got any other ideas. So if we look at like the strikers, yes, I would love to bring in Mbappe. Ronaldo, maybe not. I can go for a cheaper uh, Ajax striker. That is 8 million. That could be an option instead of Halle. That might give me a decent amount of money to kind of spend elsewhere. Um, yeah, I'm looking and I'm thinking to myself, yeah, I would like to bring in PSG and Real Madrid players, but it's just difficult for me to predict on how well that that fixture is going to go and if there's going to be a lot of goals uh, you know it, you know there's lots of players here like Deco that could do really well that's 8.1 just never know what can happen but I'm not really sold on the strikers that much I feel like I've got the two strikers that I need and maybe like afterwards I could probably go for Messi I, I don't and Messi's quite expensive as well that means I have to downgrade a couple of things it, it's everyone's preference right for midfielder, there's a couple of midfielders that I could go for um, that could help out a lot. But like I mentioned before, you know, I don't want to take a risk on like Coleman. I don't know if he's going to play like the next game. I, I, I have no idea. I don't want to risk it. Mane could be, but will he? These, these are the things that I need to look at. So I feel like I have covered most of the players that I, I need for this for this round. There's a lot of defenders that I could go for. Christensen could be the one, as you can see, 5.7. It's quite cheap. Otamendi, but then they got Ajax, 5.2. It's not what I'm looking for if I've got a striker attacking that defense. So there is a lot of other options, but for the team that I have, I don't really want to make any like different uh, adjustments. As for goalkeepers, I'm not really fussed on it too much. Uh, I could, oh, what's happened with Neuer? looks like he's injured i just need to see that i just saw it now so they probably will play one of their 4.5 or 4 million uh, goalkeeper here that's interesting so instead of like Kimmich, i can go for a cheap <clears throat> by minute goalkeeper that could that could work out um but i feel like i have covered the players that i need for 
and the round of 16 first leg um i think that's pretty much it let me know in the comments below what you think let me know if there's any players that i've missed out uh, i'm trying to push to the top 1000 i know most of these players look like they're highly owned but jota is not if i go with him foden is still six percent um so okay let's don't go for sane no panjama is four percent i think some of my defense here that is quite low owned. let's have a uh, i guess not Maybe not. Maybe I need to get a better defense. Uh, Rudiger's 20%. Um, but it's too risky to go without the high Leon players. You know, they're the players that actually does well. So I've got a couple of differentials. Maybe I could add more to push. You know, instead of going for top 1,000, maybe push into the top 500. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think, what strategy I should go for. Do you think I should just maintain? Or do you think I should get more differentials to push? But that is pretty much it huh, i did this in one take but let me know in the comments below what you think i will post my uh, twitter handle so you guys can check that out i'll update you guys on my final team and that is pretty much it thank you so much for joining me guys i hope that this video has helped you subscribe if you're new and drop a like on the video as it will help my channel out a lot thanks so much guys and good luck I'll see you guys next time see ya